you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 24th wednesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john chapter 8 verses 31 to 42 jesus said to the jews who had believed in him if you continue in my word you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free they answered him we are descendants of abraham and have never been slaves to anyone what do you mean by saying you will be made free jesus answered them very truly tell you everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin the slave does not have a permanent place in the household the son has a place there forever so if the son makes you free you will be free indeed i know that you are descendants of abraham yet you look for an opportunity to kill me because there is no place in you for my word i declare what i have seen in the father's presence as for you you should do what you have heard from the father they answered him abraham is our father jesus said to them if you were abraham's children you would be doing what abraham did but now you are trying to kill me a man who has told you the truth that i heard from god this is not what abraham did you are indeed doing what your father does they said to him we are not illegitimate children we have one father god himself jesus said to them if god were your father you would love me for i came from god and now i am here i did not come on my own but he sent me the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ my dear friends the contentious dialogue between jesus and the jews continues there are some saying here which we would do well to reflect on deeply if you make my word your home you will indeed be my disciples you will learn the truth and the truth will make you free the pharisees take umbrage at that statement as descendants of abraham they were never slaves to anyone in fact in the long history of their people the jews were almost continuously enslaved to invading powers however the slavery jesus speaks about is the slavery of sin in responding to jesus words how many of us who want to be disciples of christ how truly made his word of our god how many of us how to admit that we are not really very familiar with jesus word in the new testament yet we cannot truly follow him unless we are steeped in that word again how many of us really believe that the truth about life that is communicated to us through jesus makes you genuinely free how many of us experience our commitment to christianity as a liberation how many have left the church because they left because they felt suffocated and wanted to be free what freedom were they looking for for many being a christian is sacrificing freedom in exchange of for a promise of future expect, ex, existence of pure happiness we can say with confidence that uh, if we do not find being a christian a liberating experience here and now we do not really understand the true nature of our christian faith if god were your father <coughs> you would love me since i have come from god to know jesus to love jesus to follow jesus is the way to god and it is in god and only in god that we will find true happiness freedom and peace but the only way to know the truth of that statement is to experience it personally amen may god bless us